The new season of Fortnite is here and we are back in chapter two for the remix season. Now that means I'm gonna be showing you guys the best possible settings to get the best FPS, the best visibility, and overall the best keyboard settings as well. Now, as we go into our settings, the first page that pops up is the graphic settings. Now I do play on full screen on native resolution that is 1920 by 1080 with VSync off completely. I don't use it. I do lock my frame rate at 240, although I have a 360 Hertz monitor, but it just makes my game feel smooth. You guys can lock this at your guys' monitor refresh rate. For the rendering mode, I use the performance setting. Now, it's just better overall if you want high FPS and low input delay. You guys could, if you have a higher end PC, use DX11 or DX12, but I personally am using. Now, for visibility of the game, you're going to want your brightness at 121. I think this is the perfect brightness to be able to see, but not kind of completely drown your game in brightness. And then everything else, I just kind of leave default. I don't mess with it. I don't use color blind at all. I think this season is perfect without it. Now I have my 3D resolution customized in my game settings. If you guys want me to make a video on that, let me know. This is a secret setting not a lot of people know about. But for other than that, every single thing is low or off. Show FPS is a personal preference. You guys can or cannot use it. It's completely up to you. Now we're just gonna kind of slide through my sound settings. There's nothing crazy here. Everyone's gonna have different sound settings. I'm just not even really gonna talk about it much. High quality sound, you know, no 3D headphones, pretty basic stuff. Now I do play on NA East for my main server. I am zero ping, but when I'm playing competitive, I do have on central i just recommend you guys put this on wherever your lower ping is if you guys want faster cues in the game though na east is what you're going to want to play now for my movement i just kind of have all these settings kind of basic i haven't really touched any of them mantle and hurdle activation are kind of the same hold jump now guys make sure you're using this hold to swap pickup on this is the best setting if you have a not full inventory and you're trying to swap a weapon into that spot you just hold your pickup button and it'll swap it with your shotgun or whatever you're holding at the time super good super important make sure you guys turn this on toggle targeting not that important auto pickup weapons you guys could use this it helps you win a lot more 50 50s but i don't now this is my configure weapon slots for keyboard i just have my shotgun in my first slot and everything else on a sign this makes sure that my shotgun goes to my first slot every single time no matter what now for building i do have reset building choice on i just think it helps overall there's nothing too crazy about it. this is like a pretty standard feature and i do use pre-edits so i am i do have my pre-edits on i'm not disabling them at all turbo building of course you're going to want this on it's the most op setting of all time and i do use edit on release on keyboard i know a lot of you guys were asking about that contextual tips you guys can turn it off extra game options we're just going to kind of slide through make sure you have what you guys need on and off because there is some performance settings in here now when you get down to the bottom you guys can turn your replays completely off if you want the highest possible performance but then even below that you want to turn your sleep mode off completely put it on never and turn both of these energy saving options off this will save your pc a ton of performance and you guys will get a lot more fps off now we don't even mess with rocket racing no one plays this mode i don't know why it's in the game for my game ui this is again personal preference but i know a lot of people ask me what i use i just have on on cumulative and hit only damage feedback and i keep my number scale at like a 90 not too high not too low but i think it's honestly perfect my hud scale is at 80 and then i just kind of have the basic stuff on like i said nothing crazy here uh gyro settings now if you guys know i did recently switch from controller but even with that gyro options are still the worst possible settings you can use do not play gyro options if you're playing on controller now for my keyboard and mouse settings these settings get got me a win today i just won a game today and you guys will see that later in the video so stay tuned for that but these settings are insane i use 3.6 3.6 x and y and that's at 16 100 dpi and i'm right now i'm using the razor viper v3 super good mouse it's honestly a really well made mouse a lot of pros are using it and then i use a 50 50 targeting and scope sensitivity with the 115 building and edit honestly completely perfect i don't want any of that to change I've been using these sense settings for a very long time. Now, these two settings right here are actually very important because you want to ignore controller input and lock your input method as a mouse. This gives you the lowest possible delay on keyboard and a lot of people completely skip over. Now for our keyboard movement, we're gonna be using double movement. So we're using our custom diagonals. And these are my double movement settings. I use 59, 74, and 135. This is a really good double movement. It's not super aggressive, which I like. So you're still able to move around kind of normally. Mouse flight, rocket racing, and tank settings, we don't really mess. Now for my keyboard binds, we're just gonna kind of go through the basics because there is obviously a ton of binds, but we're just gonna go through kind of some of the simple ones. My sprint is on my caps button. Uh, I crouch with C. My fire is on my mouse, obviously. I reload with R. I use scroll wheel pickup and my pickaxe is Q and then my weapon slots are one through five. Now for my build binds, I just recently changed my keyboard and settings, keyboard settings to 
adjust it for a better overall like how optimal they are and how well my movement can get with them so my wall is now on my mouse button my floor is still f i did not change my floor my stairs are also on my mouse and my roof is shift so i only changed my wall on my stairs but this made it so i have a lot more movement while i'm playing the game and for editing i use scroll wheel reset and i use e to edit with that and that's on top of having edit on release now i did play controller back in the day so i will show you guys my controller settings i i still pick it up every now and again and i do play i play on expo on 1.6 1.6 50 60 i i think i use reit's exact settings with a 13 13 ads scope speed multiplier this is actually a new setting that they just added i haven't messed with it at all I'm probably going to keep it at one, but I use Expo and I play a 5-5 dead zone. But like I said, I am on keyboard and mouse now. I have switched. I have not been picking controller up at all. So most of my stuff is keyboard based. But overall, that is the new season. Let's get into this gameplay and show you guys this crazy win I just got. If you guys could, please use my code in the item shop. Listen, the battle pass just came out. Snoop Dogg skin just came out. Just go in, search up this code right here and type it in. Just hit OK. It's super simple, super easy. I would appreciate that a lot. What are you doing, sweetie? Oh, I almost missed every shot. Nice. Uh, we come out on top of those. <laughs> oh my. Oh my Where'd he go?
I didn't know I couldn't land up there. Go. Oh. Carrying two RPGs. He just he just blew himself up. <laughs> Yo, he blew himself up. Let's go, man. Our first win. Wait, you know what that means? New season umbrella. New season umbrella. Hold on. What is it? Wait, what is this? Aura? Let's see some fireworks out there. Huh? What's the new umbrella? Whoa! What is this? Wait, the remix umbrella looks fire! Wait, that is fire. 